What's going on, Joe fans? Mr. 1013 here with another review. This time, we're going to check out G.I. Joe Classified Series figure number 94, the Cobra Mole Rat. I just got my Walmart exclusive. Well, Walmart, uh, were they exclusive for Walmart? I know they weren't Hasbro Pulse, but um, we're just going to say Walmart exclusives. Um, they just came in today. It was Shooter, Alley Viper, and Mole Rat. They should be shipping. If you haven't got yours yet, you should be getting them very soon. But we're going to jump into this review. We're going to move the figure out the way. We're going to look at the box art, see what we got going on. So we move him over, and we get a nice shot of Mole Rat right here um, in the cage with the Energon purple blasting through there. Uh, very, the second head sculpt, he's pictured in with the mask on. Uh, he has a nice custom gun we can change a couple accessories on on that so we're going to tap into that as well we see him holding like a energon detector or something on this in his hand um, we get a very nice shot artwork here with a mole rat with the energon coming out the side of his face he's been down there getting it in right and uh, it's definitely showing in the face um, on the top right of course we get all the accessories second head sculpt backpack um, weaponry drill um, lantern, a couple other things over here. At the bottom, we get Cobra Mole Rat. To the side of the box, we get a, a up close of the artwork, looking very dope. I like it. Got that Energon purple popping off right there. On the back, we get the diagram. 6.3, one of the taller figures in the Classified Series line. Again, all the accessories down here, close up of his vest, and a side view of the head, the, the mass head sculpt right there. We get his icons down here. Whole bunch of stuff we don't know. Little radioactive, um, don't got no something. Um, biohazard, and he got a badge showing some type of rank. Um, QR code on the side, 94. And we are back to the front. And let's see if we see any little Easter eggs or anything in here. It doesn't look like it. Just, you know, um, just telling the story of all the energon popping off. So we're going to move this back. And we're going to get into this figure, man. Of course, we're going to pop the stand off. Of course, I got these from Amazon. There you go. It's very nice on the G.I. Joe Classified Series figures. Um, and let's get into it. Let's let's take a closer look at Mole Rat, man. And um, very nicely done. Beautiful head sculpt on here. Give you the zombie vibes from the zombie vipers, but um, definitely not. This also, I mean, just looking at the figure, this also put me in the Eco Warriors vibe, how bulky the, the sculpt is. And I think this is the first time we got this kind of sculpt. Let me know in the comments if, if this is not. But I can definitely see this being reused um, for the Eco Warriors. If they bring those out, those will be, I, I, that, the 90s was my sub, you know, sub team era. That's when I was basically um, getting into Joes as well. So that's a lot of Ninja Force, Eco Warriors, Night Force, and all those things um, were coming into play. And I think Night Force might be a little bit earlier, but you know what I mean. Um, but again, looking at the figure, very clean. Um, the orange off the navy blue, or this really dark navy, um, looks really good. With almost, um, almost like a peanut butter kind of <laughs> orange down here. Peanut butter brown or something down here. But that looks very good, man. Um, overall, the figure looks great. This is a, this is a great figure. Um... Turn around to the back. I'm looking at some some paint issues. Look like it's a light coat of orange right here. So this might be a different piece of plastic than um, here. That's why the color looks a little bit off. I don't know if you can tell on. It looks like you can tell on the camera there. Um, this one looks a little better. Um, green paint apps on the vest look really good. Very clean. Cobra insignia right there. Everything else looks really good. Not a, not a lot of paint differences you know what i mean as far as color so we get some real clean paint apps here so that is awesome let's get a closer look at the head sculpt though man that looks crazy i'm loving it though very nice head sculpt again with the energon popping off if we can get it almost has a metallic kind of purple on here as well so it doesn't give you that soup that shine but it's it, it touches the here and there on there so that's pretty cool Eyes look very good. I like they put the white highlight in there. So it almost seems like got a glow in there with the white pupil. Looks really good. Got some, some Energon hits. And that's kind of like in a metallic purple down there. Just kind of scattered all over his face. Teeth looking real crazy. Looks good. Yeah, very nice. Very, very nicely done on the on the head sculpt so this is this is very dope um definitely 
enough to have. We got a little bit of gray paint apps right here. Um, probably from the head sculpt that's on the back of the uh, the hair here. Some nice metallic silver around the collar. But again, um, I was saying about like troop, troop building. So I know a few people got like um, a few of these. Oh, we got some more paint apps going on right here. Look like some rubbing. Um, Could have been from, yep, uh, maybe not. I thought the arm might have been a part of rubbing on there, but we do have some uh, quality issues right there. Um, that looks pretty clean. Um, it's a little, okay, so we do got a little bit of quality issues on this one. Um, some paint apps, some orange right there. That could have been a little bit cleaner. Besides that, everything else looks pretty decent. Let's get back down to these boots again. I think those were pretty clean. Yeah, those are pretty clean. So we're gonna get into articulation, but I mean, overall the figures look, I, I really like this figure, man. Um, when I first opened them, I didn't think I was gonna like them like that, but um, yeah, pretty solid. Let's get an articulation. Head does a full 360. Um, minimal up and down, his chin hits the silver collar on the front and the back of his head hits that one right there. So a little bit of, um, still got some motion there. We got some butterflies, arms go out. And this is another good feeling figure out the box. Some of the joints were stiff on some of the figures, but this one feels pretty good. We've got the bicep turn. We got the double jointed elbows, um, twist at the wrist, hinge on the wrist. Got some articulation right there at the abs. We got some twist at the waist. This does not hinder it at all. Um, legs got the drop down hinge. We got the thigh twist. Have double jointed knees and again look at that. Um I love the fingers just the figures just um you know feel good right out the box. And you got the twist up here at the top of the boot, and you have the pivot and the rocker down here on the feet. So again, very solid figure, looks very good. Uh, uh, reminds me of the Eco Warrior, so maybe that's gonna be in the line down somewhere. Uh let's get to his accessories. He comes with his backpack. Very nice detail on here. Of course, I wish they could have added just a little bit more paint on, like on the fans. Maybe give it just like a silver little touch so you know the fans are on there. Besides that, the holes look really good um, right here. Flip it on the inside. There's nothing. Flip it on the inside. There's nothing much. And there we go. Make sure we get that in focus for you guys. He also comes with the Energon Lantern. Looks like he's powering it from with the Energon here to get some light through there. This does have a little bit of articulation, which is cool. Um, at the bottom there's nothing, no other articulation. This doesn't pop off or anything. He has his, I'm thinking, of, again, this is like the Energon uh, community, or, uh, radar or something like that. Does have a handle, no articulation on it. Solid black. Again, give us a little green, little or a, a little energon purple. You put it on here. You put it on here. We should be able to get it on here as well. <laughs> Just the small things. How, like, like we say, we love the small things. Um, we got a couple of hoses that goes to the head scope that we're gonna look at as well. We're gonna put them together with the other head scope. But that's a hose right there. He comes with, and this weapon he comes with. This is the handle or the base of the weapon, and he comes with two different attachments that goes on this which is, I guess, the gun version here. A little bit warped, of course. And he comes with the drill bit here. And this was pretty straight out the box, so it's okay. Then his second head sculpt, the masked uh, mole rat head sculpt, which looks pretty cool. And instead of just giving us the mask to put over, of course, because he had the inner John popping off the face, that's why it gave us a, a separate head sculpt. So we definitely gonna pop that off. So we gonna take this off. We gonna pop the second head sculpt on. There we go. And there's a look at Mo Rev with the mask on. Looks very good. I like the, 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 I wish I had to see, this is spoiling us because he got the glow <laughs> on the eyes, but no, this is look, this looks pretty good. I really like this. Um, I'm glad it's just not like a solid paint color. It's kind of like a metallic kind of paint vibe going on here. Let's throw the backpack on and everything so we can see how this is looking. Um, we're going to peg the backpack on here, and that fits very well. That's one of the best fitting backpacks that I've seen on some classified figures. I mean, it fits right on the back. Um, holes right here. 
and there's a small peg right there on the side of the mask that this is going to go into and that's going to pop in like so so that's kind of going to hinder them a little bit because there's not a lot of free range on there but that pops in right there and then we had this smaller hose right here that pops in right on the front of the mask and then pops in on the chest piece right there so there you have it that looks really dope man that looks really cool um what else we got oh let's look at the drill bit so there's a piece right here pretty pretty wide pretty big uh peg right there and then you can see that fits right on the front right there and this fits pretty good too so hear that good snap i mean we got a good nice nice fit right there so if you want to go to drill bit or that's a great fit or you want to pull with the weapon you can just pop that on as well and this is a nice looking weapon of course you got the peg hole there if you want to add any blast effects on there So we're gonna grab his his ladder. Fits really good. Um, no holsters or anything on oh wait on the side. So we could put something on the side on. Let's see. Can we put this there? So if you want, you could put the the, the 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 little reader right here on the backpack because there was a peg hole right there so we can put that there if that's supposed to go there if not we just made it and we're going to grab the gun like so i'm gonna twist the wrist a little bit let that hang down there so a solid, very solid figure. Um, again, if if they should be on the way, was all, was available on Walmart and on Hasbro Post. You should be getting yours in the mail if you haven't got it already. So be on the lookout on your doorstep. But this has been your review of the GI Joe Classified Series figure number ninety four, the Cobra Mole Rat. I appreciate you guys for liking, sharing, subscribing to the channel. I'll catch you guys on the next review. Peace.